Olga, qu'elle fera la préparation des compétitions avec nous. Olga est sur une ukrainienne gymnaste qui uh, est exilée en Suisse. Et comme elle se prépare pour le European Championship avec la Swiss Team, uh, la révolution de Euromaidan erupt en Kiev et involve tout le monde qu'elle connaît. Pourquoi tu es ici Je suis ma à cause de son travail. Je suis venue, 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 je suis venue. C'est vraiment un sport de film avec des vrais sportsmen et des sportswomen. But it's also um, uh, it also has a political side uh, used by uh, archives, uh, real archives from the revolution, and uh, those images are going to confront uh, the the daily life of uh, Olga as an athlete. Hello. Where? Mom, come back home. So just after my school, I I did a documentary about an orchestra of young people. Uh, orchestra uh, is a universe that I know quite well because I was in the conservatory in Lyon uh, for a long time. And uh, one of the protagonists of that movie was a violinist, a Ukrainian violinist, who told me that she arrived in Switzerland just before the beginning of your Maiden. And the way she told me this story, the way the, she told me how the, the images enter her life and until her own practice of violin, Uh, really touched me at that time and uh, so I, I was so interested by this story that I had to, to meet a lot of people in Ukraine directly and, uh, and, and from the, also the gymnastic side um, to be able to write the movie uh, as correct as possible. So I was surrounded by the, from the beginning of the movie until the very end of the process by Ukrainian interlocutors in, to be able to understand really what happened there. C'est une irresponsable. Elle fait son travail. T'es pas prête pour le Geiger Tu vas te faire mal au dos. Pardon You have to be very flexible to what's going on for the athletes and the real needs of the athletes. You have to be aware of, uh, of uh, the, the, the rhythm of uh, athletes, that the bodies for example, has to stay um, uh, warm. So uh, we were doing, for example, very long shots uh, by doing many times the scene in order that they, they do directly the, the figures again and again. Um, so um, I think it's more about listening a lot what, what are the needs of the athletes. Tu as des nouvelles de chez toi? Voilà, ça c'est très bien. Tu veux qu'on en parle? No. Voilà. Okay, super. So basically, I went to the Olympic Center in Kiev and in uh, and in Switzerland too, uh, and I uh, I met very early in the writing process. I met the, the the gymnasts who are playing in the movie. For example, part of the Swiss team in the movie or the real Swiss team. It's the real coach in the movie. It's also the, their place. It's the gym where they where they train. Uh, so um, yeah, I think that. Um, no actress can have the experience of a gymnast and so they are, they are non-professional actors but they are actually professional athletes so it was more convenient to, to work with them Voilà c'est un joli Jaeger Yes Что случилось смотри мама что мама It's my very first time in USA uh, so I'm very impressed by everything and I'm very happy to discover everything Uh, I'm a bit frustrated that I'm, that I only staying for uh, three days, uh, but I wish to come back uh, very very soon, and I uh, I, I thank the fest the festival so much about the invitation and and all. Of course, there is a lot of uh, filmmakers that inspires me so much. Uh, there is Gus Van Sant, there is Kel Kelly Richards, there is uh, uh, even, I don't know, Cohen Brothers or Paul Thomas Anderson or people who really uh, are part of my, uh, of my imagination since I'm a teenager. Tu penses vraiment que c'est la meilleure solution pour aider ton pays? Right.